Hey everybody, Mr. Cameron here to show you a game called Move Up Soccer. Move Up Soccer. And for this activity, we're going to be working on our soccer passing skills, passing to a target, working on that accuracy, okay? In this game, you're going to need a little bit of equipment. You're going to need one ball. Again, I'm using my foam soft indoor soccer ball that won't hurt anything or damage anything. Again, if you don't have one of these, you can find a ball that works for you inside. Something that's soft, it doesn't have to be this big, it can be a little bit smaller. Again, if you don't have a ball, you could always use that old trusty sock ball that we make. Okay? Now, the other thing you're going to need is one target. And I'm just going to use this clear plastic bottle. It can be a water bottle or any other kind of bottle you have laying around. This, this works pretty good because it's going to be falling over and this won't get damaged, this won't get hurt. And most people have one laying around their house. All right? Then you're going to need some kind of equipment for a starting line or a kicking line. I'm going to use two red cones that are next to each other. That is going to be where I'm kicking from every single time. All right, I'm always going to be kicking from in between the two red cones. Then you're going to need four pieces of equipment or five if you want to do five, but I'm using four, four pieces of equipment that are going to represent your different levels that you're moving up to because in this game you're going to start on level one and as soon as you complete level one you're going to go to two three four five six however many levels you have okay so i am using little cones but if you don't have little cones you can use anything you want okay because this isn't really part of the game this is just to show you where the different levels are so you could use plastic cups you could use stuffed animals you could use anything else you have laying around just to remind you where level one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, a million is. Okay? So how it works is you're going to take your ball and you're going to put it at the starting line, kicking zone, whatever you want to call it. Right back here in between the two cones. This is where I am going to be kicking from every time. Now, you can put your levels as close or as far away as you think will be a good challenge for you. All right, don't put them like so close that they'll be so easy for you. I want it to be a little bit of a challenge. Um, so spread them out a little bit and you want it so that in the beginning it'll be a little easier and then it gets harder as you go. Now I put just four different levels out because my camera's only so wide, but if you wanna do five, six, seven levels, you can. And you can even make your levels further apart if you want to as well. All right, but you're gonna take that plastic bottle or whatever target you're using and you're gonna put it next to level one. So I'm gonna put mine right here next to level one, okay? It might be kind of hard for you to see on the screen, but my bottle is right here at level one. All right, so what you're gonna do is I'm gonna ask you to time yourself so you can kind of compete against yourself or compete against somebody else. What you're gonna do is when you say go and that timer starts, you're gonna pass your ball from the kicking zone, the starting line, and you're gonna try to hit that bottle, all right? If you hit the bottle, you get to move up to level two. If you miss the bottle, you're just gonna quickly go get your ball, dribble back to the kicking zone, and you're gonna do it again, all right? So you're working for time. So you're trying to do this as fast as you can. Now, there is no hands in this game, so when you kick your ball, you have to dribble it back with your feet, all right? only using your feet to move the ball. Now, yes, you will have to touch the bottle with your hands to move it to different levels, but the ball, we are only using our feet. All right, so I'm gonna walk through slowly and kind of show you how it works, and then you're gonna be able to see that you can go much faster when you're doing it on your own. All right, so if I'm getting ready to start, I would have my timer or cell phone or stopwatch, and I would say one, two, three, go, and I would start the timer and then I would make my first kick. All right, remember, I'm aiming for the bottle, not the cones. All right, so let's see how I do. I take my first kick, I hit the bottle, all right? So first thing I need to do is run, get my bottle, set it up on level two, because I just completed level one. So I run, pick up my bottle, now I move it back to level two, all right? Once my bottle is set up on level two, I'm going to dribble my ball back to the kicking zone or starting line, trap it. So once my ball comes to a complete stop, now I'm going to try to attempt level two. Let's see how I do. Oh, if you miss, you run, you 
you get your ball, you dribble back, you leave the bottle right where it is. All right, so I would dribble back, keeping it close to me, trapping it, setting it up for another try at level two. See if I can get it this time. All right, if you get it on level two, same thing, pick it up, we're moving it to level three. So now I put it way back here at level three. You would get your ball, dribble back, take a shot at level three, and then once you hit it at level three, move it back to four, five, six, however many levels you have. All right, so you keep going as fast as you can, hitting the bottle at the different levels, moving it back, and trying to complete it in as little as time as possible. Once you knock over the bottle on your very last level, stop your clock, that's gonna be your score. Then you can try to do it again and beat your score. You can compete against somebody else in your house, this is just a great way to work on your dribbling skills, work on your passing skills, have a little fun doing this game inside, or you can even take this outside and do it out there as well. All right, have fun, and I will see you soon.